I've done a lot of projects, but I feel like this is the first one where I've really like had a vision in my head of what it was gonna look like. channel my name is Stephanie if you're new here you may notice I got a little Sun since you saw me last I did go and spend a few days with my friend in Florida had a great time with her I got a little more Sun than I was anticipating and I did double up on the sunscreen but whew, it was hot y'all it was real hot <laughs> she texted me and asked me when I was coming back she's like I miss you when are you planning on coming back I said when it's not a bazillion degrees there so like maybe November <laughs> uh, I can't hang just can't uh, I feel like I'm talking about that in every video how I just can't handle the heat but I feel like I'm suffocating <laughs> Anyway, in today's video, we're finally gonna get into this privacy screen DIY project that I've been talking about. If you missed my last video where we made a gravel patio in my backyard, I'll be sure to link that above and in the description box below. So be sure to check that one out first. I'm so happy with the way that it's turned out. I can't wait for you to see the final result but i'm going to show you the steps that we took to build it and my mom and dad helped me with this project you guys tell me all the time how blessed and fortunate i am to have them here next door and how they love to pitch in and help with all the projects and they do and i couldn't i couldn't thank them more my dad like if he don't have a project to work on he ain't happy he's always working on something so He's usually the one pushing me to do the projects. He's like, what are we gonna work on now? What are we gonna build? What are we gonna do? <laughs> I need I need time in between projects to, to recoup <laughs> um, and to think about the things because I, I like to think things out and exactly how I want it and he likes to go, go, go. So I really think you're gonna like it. We're really wanting to get started working on this privacy fence. So we ran by Lowe's to pick up some wood screws that we needed and a few other supplies. What what do you need to, to what do you need now? Tell me again. <laughs> Put up a fence, you need a hole. <laughs> and a four by four post concrete mix. That's it. What she said was to put up a post, you need a hole in a post. We spent entirely too much time here debating on which kind of screws we needed for this project. We definitely needed like wood, fence, and deck screws, and we finally found the right ones. <laughs> This is what my dad asked for for Father's Day this year. So we got it for him and he put it to good use digging the holes to put my posts in. So we put three posts on this side of the shed and then two on the other side. <laughs> part about this project was definitely installing the posts. You have to get them exactly right. They have to be centered. They have to be level. And we put ours two foot into the ground. These were eight foot posts. So we had six feet up off the ground. Starting with a good foundation is key to making sure everything is level and in the right position before you start adding the boards on it makes all the difference so we got everything right my dad held the pole while I added concrete into the hole then we added water and it really doesn't take this long at all to set up um, it went pretty quickly once we got it everything the way it needed to be and then we're just gonna wait and let those set up this is all we did for this day because it was getting late and it was supposed to start raining pretty soon I did make sure to go back. I had a bucket here and I went in and cleaned up all the big clumps of dirt and any concrete that got on the ground around the pole so that it wouldn't set up and leave a mess there around it because I do plan to cover that back up with dirt or rocks or something. I'm not sure what yet, but I just wanted to make sure there wasn't any extra concrete um, spread out on the ground above around the pole.
We had completely forgotten that we were supposed to have a third pole in the middle of these two here on the front because they're so far apart, but we were so exhausted we just decided we were going to do that another day. It is time for a shower. I am nasty because I'm covered in dirt, mud, concrete, blood, sweat, and tears. Um, yeah. It's time to start another day on this backyard makeover, this privacy screen build. And first, I am snuggling this sweet kitty. Look at him hold on to my arm. Is that not the most precious thing ever? Okay, so it's a new day. Today's Friday. We're going to start working on adding the boards to the posts on the privacy screens. We got the post done uh, day before yesterday, I think. And the weather has just been crazy this week. It's raining one minute and not raining the next. Here's a little overview of what it looks like before we get started. I cannot wait to see what it's going to look like when we get the boards up. I just think it's going to be so pretty. I'm so excited. So we're going to get started on that now. We're using 16 foot treated lumber here on the front side of the patio and then we have 8 foot boards for the back side. This part of the project was pretty easy, especially having three people with these long 16 foot boards. All right, so if you're doing this project, the first thing you want to do is determine how big you want your privacy screen. I knew I wanted mine to go all the way across the front of my patio here and also down the side from the shed to the end of my mobile home. Um, so we just marked off where I wanted it and measured it. And when we originally measured it, the front one was supposed to be 16 foot. So here's one thing that we would do differently if we did it again is we would make sure when we put the posts in the concrete and everything that we have measured the, sp the distance and made sure it's the right space in between because we neglected to do that and it ended up being not a full 16 foot which Norm, which wouldn't be a bad thing. It's not a huge deal. The only deal is that these are 16 foot boards that we use to go across. We use treated lumber. My dad called them decking boards. I don't know, but it, we use all treated lumber. Now, some people did suggest that I should use the pallet wood since I got all that free pallet wood, but I really wanted this to be something that would stay for a long, long time. I wanted to use the treat wasp. We got wasps everywhere. I wanted to use the treated lumber. Um, just to make sure that it's good and sturdy and that it's gonna last so it took us a little extra time because we had to cut down those 16 foot boards a little bit because I think it ended up being 15 and about 15 and a half feet um, apart so had we have measured and made sure that we poured the concrete and got the post exactly the right space we wouldn't have had to cut the boards down. We would have just nailed them all up and it would have went much quicker. But it still wasn't too bad putting all the planks onto the post. That was that was the easy part. I'd say the getting the posts in the ground and the concrete and getting it all level. Um, 
I'd say that was probably the hardest part. So you definitely want to make sure you get that part right because that's going to make your everything go smoothly. You want everything to be level. We made sure the, the plank on the very bottom when we started putting them up the posts that it was perfectly level so we started out right and wasn't crooked as we got up there. So we're using these little spacers that we made out of that pallet wood. Daddy cut it down into little squares and we stick that between the boards because I wanted a gap between them. I didn't want them all flush together. So we just put this in there on each post just to hold it apart so we know how far to space it. You can see here that I'm marking where the board needs to be cut. It wasn't much at all. So you can see that if we had to put the posts in the right spot and put them 16 foot apart, we wouldn't have had to cut these boards at all. So that would have saved us some time. I mean, it wasn't terrible. It didn't take us that long. But, you know, every little step that you can eliminate is great. So just be sure that you keep all your measurements the way that you want them and you should be good to go. actually wasn't too bad it, if it hadn't have been so hot and humid today it wouldn't have been bad at all but um yeah we were sweating like I was dewy for real extra dewy so we had about five posts and then we used 11 16 foot boards and 11 I think these other ones were eight foot boards I ordered these solar string lights from Amazon. My friend Carrie had done a sponsorship with them and she said she really liked them. So I thought I would give them a try. Like I said, they're solar so they don't have to be plugged in anywhere, which is great because that's one thing I didn't like about string lights is that, you know, you had to have this part of the, you know, so much string from the end of the lights to the power outlet. And I didn't like the way that looked. So when I saw that these were solar, I thought that's a really great idea hopefully they'll work good so i'm gonna string them across the patio from the privacy screen over to the trailer i've got to figure out they make things where you can hook it onto that which i haven't ordered yet <laughs> so i don't know we'll figure it out but let's pull these out and see these are from adlon a d d l o n solar string light We'll see what's in here. We got zip ties, which 
Just some informational papers. I know they give you an extra bulb. I had read that in the reviews. It also comes with a remote control, which is really cool. Have a stake here, I'm assuming for the solar panel. And then you have all the lights. This is what they look like. I did order the ones that had more lights on them. Um, I have a fairly large area to cover and I wanted it to be, wanted there to be lots of lights. So here we go, how exciting. I've always wanted string lights. I just think that they're so pretty. And now we're gonna have some. I can't wait to get these hung up. <laughs> here is the solar panel. Um, let's see, on the back it has an on off switch. Let's see. So it says to leave it in direct sunlight to charge for one day. Um, and they're already on. I just put plugged it in and pushed the on button and look. They're already lit up. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine how pretty this is going to be? Like, especially this fall, we have the fire pit going and the lights on at night. This is just, I had this vision in my head and like it's coming to reality and it's so cool. Like our patio bunny? Hmm? Do you like it out here? Sophie! Where are you? <gasps> there you are! Hi, baby! Hi. What are you doing? Was you playing Duck Duck Goose? Yeah. I heard you. Did you win? You win? You win? Did you win? No. You didn't win? Doggone it. You want to you want to play goose? You know what, do I want to play duck duck goose? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. What are you doing? Are you kicking my rocks? Yes. What? Yes. No, don't you kick my rocks. Yeah. Do y'all like Stuffy's patio? Yeah. Hey, yeah. it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It is? There's a new day that will come again tomorrow There's a new day to watch
wash away the pain There's a new day to take away your sorrow And the old ways get washed out by the rain about to head out we're gonna go have lunch today today is Sunday and there's a new place in a little town near here um, Auburn Kentucky Auburn is a little town near Bowling Green Kentucky if you've ever heard of Bowling Green but I saw the place on Facebook and it had some good reviews the pictures look, look like it was a cute little place so I thought we would go and try that out today they have barbecue ribs and I love some barbecue ribs and everybody said that they were good so we're gonna go check it out I'll bring you guys along show you what the place looks like and let you know what we think so this is the tiny little town of Auburn, Kentucky. They have a few little restaurants here, but not a whole lot else. My friend Kristen and her husband are actually from here. I really like this mural that they have on the side of this building. I'm a big fan of murals. My friend Sandra and I, we like to play tourists. We like to go around and find different murals to take pictures of, especially in Nashville. They have a ton of them there, but I thought these were cute. So we found the Texas barbecue house right around the corner. Um, it's really cute. They had just opened up. We got there right about 11 o'clock. You can see there was only one other person in here other than my mom and I, but I just thought it was so pretty. I absolutely love these paintings that she had in these beautiful gold frames. She had all these beautiful blue dishes. Like this, this was my kind of spot all this old stuff i just loved go walking around and looking at it all we did meet the owner her name is jennifer she was very friendly um, she said they are busier after church on sundays but i just really liked walking around and looking at everything it's just so pretty we took a look at the menu and they had ribs uh, pulled pork on cornbread or on a roll or not a roll a bun they had um, salads, cheeseburgers, lots of different things like that to choose from. And I know sometimes they have specials as well. This is the ribs, and my mom got the pulled pork. How was your lunch? Yeah, I give it a 10. A 10 out of 10. You had the pulled pork sandwich, or the pulled pork on cornbread with baked beans and potato salad. Right, and strawberry cheesecake, cheesecake for dessert. What would you order? Would you order that same thing next time? Uh, I'd try something different. The ribs probably and green beans and coleslaw. Mm-hmm. All right. So. All right, guys. This is Dickie Carter. He's from Russellville, Kentucky, right? That's right. All right. And he likes to sit out here on this corner. He said the Lord told him to sit out here and hold this sign on Sundays. Well, it, it, sometimes if the Lord tells you to do something, it might sound a little silly to you at first. <laughs> And a couple of years ago, he told me to set up here on the square for the sign that Jesus saved. And I, I felt a little silly the first three or four times. And I said, Lord, you sure you're telling me this? And, and then uh, 
he got where I look forward to it every Sunday now, just about it. And any time I can, in town and all along, yeah. I have to come up here. I mean, people just say the name of Jesus and uh, a lot of a lot of people and, waving and honking at you. Oh yeah, that's good. And uh, but it's uh, it's all about Jesus. Jesus Christ is Lord. It'll make your life a lot easier if you let Him be Lord of your life. There's a life hereafter. There is a uh, there is a heaven and there is a hell. Heaven will be a glorious place, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I'm kind of like the little boy. And the preacher said, "How many want to go to heaven one Sunday?" And everybody raised their hand, except this little boy. And he said, "Little boy, don't you want to go to heaven?" And he said, "Yeah, but I." I thought you was trying to get a bus load up today. To <laughs> we all want to go to heaven, but we don't go to. We want to go today, you know. Yeah. Uh, but uh, whenever the Lord wants me to uh, be with Him, I'll be glad to go. And uh, I, I don't know how many years I've got ahead, but I know I've got more years behind me than I do ahead of me. Uh, but I want to uh, make sure that I get done everything the Lord wants me to do before I leave this earth well if anybody's watching this and god bless you and uh but he died for us all we got to do is ask him to come into our life and he will all right so i saw dicky on the side of the road and i had to stop and say hello he is somebody that timmy thought so much of and he think thought a lot of timmy as well he was at the funeral and um yeah, I just wanted to stop and say hi to him. He was sitting out there with his Jesus Save sign, and he does that all the time. Um, he said on Sundays, mostly. It really, I don't know, touched my heart to see him sitting there and just reminded me of Timmy and just um very kind man. Timmy, um, he loved Timmy's music. He loved to hear Timmy sing, and... He um, actually offered to pay for Timmy to have another CD made. Timmy ha had one made in around 2010, I believe. We went and had one made at a studio. And we sold those copies, so I don't have any to sell. But a few years ago, he offered to, to pay for Timmy to go have another one made. But unfortunately, he just wasn't able to do it. Like he couldn't get through a song like he could back years ago. I played some of his old C I played some from his old C D from you guys and I think y'all can tell the difference. Like his he was still good. He was still great. But he just wasn't able to play and sing like he used to. And so he didn't want to make another one. He didn't think he was able to like remembering the chords and the words and everything. He, it was hard for him to get through it just to do a song on our Sunday videos. A lot of times I would have to edit parts together to make a whole song. Um, it was much more difficult when he played the piano with the song, but we, um, we made it work. <laughs> and I think most of the time you couldn't even notice that that had happened. So, um, but with making an actual CD, that would have been that would have been hard to do, and so we just never did it. But um, yeah, it was very kind of him to offer to do that, and Timmy um, was very appreciative. So, just someone who meant a lot to Timmy, and I just wanted to share his message that he was sharing out on the square there in Russellville this morning. We really enjoyed the restaurant in Auburn. It was really cute i had the ribs and they were excellent very like a smoky flavor i liked the barbecue sauce on them my mom got the pulled pork it was good as well the baked beans were excellent we got the um what did we get potato salad i think next time i'll try the slaw i'm i'm really big on potato salad but i like it the way my mama makes it <laughs> she i don't know it's just really good her potato salad and now Anytime I have it anywhere else, I'm like, it's not my mama's. But I'm sure most people would love it. I just like my mama's. But the baked beans and the, the cornbread, 
The ribs was all yummy, very yummy. And mama liked hers too. We cleaned our plates. <laughs> um, so highly recommend the place in Auburn. Also, I wanted to let you know that if you're not following me on Instagram, then you don't know about this, but y'all know my sister started a YouTube channel recently. And thank you to all of you who have went over and supported her. I really appreciate it so much. She's gotten lots of sweet, sweet comments. I've read through some of them. Um, but my brother and Shelby have now started a YouTube channel as well. And their channel is called Growing Southern Roots. They're going to be doing DIY content. She said maybe some gardening content. Um, lots of different things. They're really good at DIY stuff. I think you guys would really enjoy it. I'll leave the um, link in the description box below. But like I said, it's called Growing Southern Roots if you want to look them up. I'd love for you to go over and share the love with them as well. I got to finish this video and then we can play. Okay? About time for a haircut again. Yes, it is. It's about time for another haircut. It's a good, a good girl. She's the best girl. Alright friends, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great week. I do want to thank you all for all of your kind and sweet comments in my last video. Um, I got a little emotional in that one and you all were so, so sweet. So thank you so much for that and for all your prayers. I appreciate them more than I can ever say. I'm so happy with these privacy screens. It really came together the way that I imagined it. This is, I mean, I've done a lot of projects, but I feel like this is the first one where I've really like had a vision in my head of what it was gonna look like. And it did turn out to be pretty much just what I imagined it to be. And I'm so happy with it. It's so, it's such a cozy and peaceful area. My little oasis, not to embarrass my mama, but she tends to come off with some funny things. Like she says things a little odd on occasion. And um, she was sitting there, we, we had got the screens done and everything. We were sitting out here on the back porch and she said, I'm, got, I'm glad you got your little old oasis. And I said, my what? She said, your old Asus. <laughs> and I was like, well, it's an Oasis. She said, oh, well, if I had one, it'd be an old Asus. <laughs> yeah. I love her, y'all. She's just, she's, she's so funny. Also, if you haven't yet entered to win the patio well giveaway that I had in my last week's video, there's still time to do that. I'm going to put the link at the very top of the description box. Some people seem to be confused about it last week. All you do is click on that link. It'll take you to a questionnaire. You fill that out completely and submit it. The winner will be notified by email, so be sure to keep an eye on your email in the next week if you enter to win. If you'd like to support my channel and you haven't already, please feel free to subscribe and click the bell notification so that you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos. If you could also like this video, that really helps out my channel. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Well, I told all my troubles goodbye. Goodbye to each tear and each sigh This world where our own cannot be my home I'm bound for that land up in the sky Will I walk and I talk with my Lord Feast every day on His Word Heaven is near, I just can't stay here Goodbye world, goodbye now don't you weep for me when I'm gone For I won't have to leave here alone And I hear that last trumpet sound My feet ain't gonna stay on the ground I'm gonna rise with a shout, gonna fly Oh, gonna ride with my Lord up through the sky Heaven is near, Lord, I just can't stay here Goodbye, world, goodbye
Don't you weep for me when I'm gone For I won't have to leave here alone When I hear that last trumpet sound My feet ain't gonna stay on the ground I'm gonna rise with a shout Gonna fly Oh, gonna ride with my Lord up through the sky Heaven is near, Lord, I just can't stay here Goodbye 